They make sure that your children get the health services needed on school grounds, from checking for lice, providing ice packs, and ensuring medications are taken properly when scheduled, just to name a few duties of the men and women in scrubs. At the Tizen headquarters, some lawmakers of the 36th Guam Legislature on Wednesday presented a resolution to school nurses of the Guam Department of Education, commending our island's public school nurses for their continuous hard work. As restrictions have been lifted on the island, a luncheon was also held for them, as GDOE has not been able to host a celebration since 2019 due to the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic. Julieta Kuneni, the Community Health and Nursing Services Administrator for GDOE, highlighted that the school nurses weren't afraid two years ago to step out of their school zones and onto the front lines of the invisible war battling COVID. We got that call from the governor. None of us hesitated. We were all proud to be up, get our foot testing going, and say we're ready to help our community. And today, we're here to celebrate that. Reflecting on his nearly 10 years at the helm of island's largest school system, GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez celebrated this onerous day with school nurses for the last time, as he intends to step down on July 15th. During his remarks, he thanked them for their services one last time before his almost decade-long tenure comes to an end. We've gone through a very challenging time the last couple of years, so even when I saw you in 2019 and thank you for your work, today I just have to say, I mean, I don't think thank you is enough. You guys have been a part of this public health effort to protect our island, to help us respond, help us recover, and uh, there's nothing that we can uh, do or say that would recognize the depth of your um, contribution. National School Nurse Day is celebrated between May 6th to the 12th. It was established to commend school nurses as they work to ensure students' well-being, safety, and academic ability while on campuses. This year's theme is School Nurses, Bridging Healthcare and Education. Meanwhile, Burnaby Mutuk, also known as Nurse Junior at John F. Kennedy High School in Tamuning, listed the treasured parts of the job. My favorite part of uh, my job is um, uh, interacting with, uh, with students and knowing um, their, their health and knowing what they go through each day. And, you know, sometimes student comes to my office, you know, what they go through, sometimes it affects their studies. And also, sometimes it also affects, uh, you know, how they approach life. So we, we're not just uh, taking care with uh, the illness injury, but also also take care of their psychological also. Burnaby, who has been a school nurse since 2013, noted that containing COVID and contact tracing are the top challenging duties. However, despite how challenging the job can get for him, he continues to love what he does. I'm really excited to come to my work, especially you, are, you have good support staff and also faculty at my school, and especially the admin are really good at helping me. Governor Lou Leon Guerrero proclaimed May 2022 as Nurses Month on Friday. Reporting for KM News, I'm Jonah Gincharfras.